Arena Sabalenka versus Caroline Garcia is the final for the WTA Finals in Fort Worth for 2022. And both ladies have had different roads to get to the final stage. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number seven seed and would take on Ons Jabeur, the number two seed, in her first match. And after dropping the first set, she would come back in an epic 3-6, 7-6, 7-5 to get her first win on the board. In her second match, she would take on Maria Sacri, the number five seed, who she had lost to at the WTA Finals in 2021. And unfortunately for Sabalenka, she would lose again, going out in straight sets, 2-6, 4-6. In her final match, she would play against Jessica Bagula, the number three seed, in a must-win match. And the pressure was on for Sabalenka, but she came through, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 7-5, to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sabalenka would have to take on the number one seed, Iga Sviantek. And after a good start, she would drop the second set, but then dominate in the third, getting through in three, 6-2, 2-6, 6-1, to advance to the final. Garcia started the event off as the number six seed. In her first match, she would take on the number four seed, Coco Goff. And after a close first set, she'd eventually get through in straights, 6-4, 6-3. In her second match, she'd take on the world number one, Iga Sviantek, a lady that she had beaten a couple of months earlier on the clay in Poland. But unfortunately for Garcia, she couldn't do it again, with Sviantek getting through 3-6, 2-6. In her final match, she would take on the number eight seed, Kazakina. And this was a do or die match because both players were playing for a semi-final spot with the winner going through and the loser going home. And after dropping the first set, Garcia would come back in an epic, prevailing in three, four, six, six, one, seven, six, to advance to the semifinals. Garcia would take on the number five seed, Zachary, in the semifinals, a player she had a battle with in Cincinnati a few months ago. But this match would be very one-sided as Garcia would win in straight, six, three, six, two, to advance to the final. These two ladies have played four times before with the head-to-head split straight down the middle at two apiece. But Garcia did win their last match in Cincinnati. That was a couple of months ago, and it wasn't even close in the final set. 6-1, but it did go the distance, and it was three sets. If Sabalenka's going to win, the serve has to work. We know that's the problem with her every match. If the serve doesn't work, then usually her game doesn't work, but this is most important. That's the thing that worked against Fiontech. She served well when she needed to, and she needs to be aggressive as well, like she was against Fiontech. If Garcia's going to win, she needs to bring the variety back. She played very solid against Zachary, who wasn't quite on her game, but coming to the net and being the aggressive player, moving Sabalenka around, that's what's going to get the job done because Sabalenka on the run is not as good as when she's standing on the baseline. This is going to be a very fun final. I don't think anyone expected to have these two in the final against each other, especially after the group stage when Zachary and Sviantek both dominated and both getting upset. It's going to be a very fun final. I don't know who to pick. I guess I'm going to go with Sabalenka because she looks so good against Fiontek. Let's make it a three-setter in the final match of the year, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win this final?